Hello everyone, Marty here. It's day 18. Another Saturday has come and bit the dust. Today I have at least five pages of to to-dos that I got finished. In fact, they're right here. I'm wadding them up. I love to wad them up and throw them in my trash. Done! Bam! Oh, it feels so great. There was a lot of tasks that carried over from the week, and so they landed on my Saturday bucket because it just keeps being it's kind of that catch-all from all undone tasks that I pushed off throughout the week. Anyhow, I emptied it out. Woohoo! Kathy and I sat down after our win the morning, win the day routine this morning, and after eating breakfast, and we talked about the 2020 calendar that I had mentioned here. So here it is. I wanted to show you what we got done. There's the list of names. You can see there's some um, yellow uh, squares and some X's on them, and this whole month of February has a lot of yellow days. That allowed me to see what days she was going to make available that we could use. We won't use them all up. Uh, we X'd out some that we know we can't do anything like that. Anyhow, she thought for her um, brother for Valentine's Day, that she'd invite her brother and his wife to come stay for Valentine's to stay the night and have a nice breakfast and some time the next morning. Enjoy Valentine's Day with them and let them come and sleep in our Airbnb room and have that experience. And so that was exciting. She's going to reach out to Dean for that. And I thought that I would like to um, invite... Lindsay and Jared, one of our sweet couple neighbors, and have them uh, go out to dinner and have some fun time with them. So I'm going to reach out to them and pick one of those days and see what works for them. It's nice to have had that planned out and know what days are available for both of us. Anyhow, after that, I then went up to my office. And after doing my normal task that I've talked about where I check my accounts and do my emails real quick so I don't have anything implode on me, I set up a file for Jody Moore's stuff and downloaded a couple of her podcasts. Uh, one of those was Accountability and Choice. It was a fabulous one because it went really well with the Law of Attraction and Manifestation. So I got some great stuff to feed my mind. I did the same thing for Croy's audios. I set up a file for all of his audios and those transcribed things that I'm doing. I was able to put one of those in there that I can go back to and print off. I like to read a book or pages of stuff or articles with a pen. And I write and I write notes to the side and the margins and underline and circle important things. It just sinks in my brain good. And so it's nice to not have to stop and start and take notes. So I'm so excited about those PDFs and those, those transcribed uh, forms that, uh, copies that I'm putting into those two files. Anyhow, I then searched out uh, three new videos on YouTube that Teach how to get new subscribers to your YouTube channel. And I set up a folder for those and I drop those in there and, and it's building up some knowledge. And so I'm looking forward to next week where I start to put some of those into action. The next thing I did was I, I did a search for a bike to find pictures of something that I could see in my mind. And I did that movie of holding uh, hands with Kathleen Walkie and then riding bikes together. And I found one that I really liked. Let me show you. Right there. <laughs> yep. That's what you call a big man's bike. It's a tricycle that I can be steady and I drive and really be comfortable. I'm looking forward to getting that and we'll start our bike riding. So I'm, look, I'm excited about that goal. As I thought about my day to day, I decided to give it a nine. As I mentioned in my video journal last night, my power statement for today was, I'm going to watch some more pre-play movies in my mind, especially ones of my most recently vocalized and written goal that I declared about making $30,000 a month by the end of the year, 2020. Well, I, I did that because the questions of what could I have done better today and what was the most identifiable thing I did that helped uh, to bring my goals or at least some of their pieces through the portal of the mind into my world of the physical and what went well or what did I do well today? Well, as I thought about that, the number one thing I felt I can uh, do tomorrow to move my goals even further along was to imagine more pre-play movies and see them through about my Sunday. And as you know, I, I go to Avalon Care Center to visit with folks. And so when I asked my two assistants to go out into the universe, as it were, and attune to the vibrational mind and the subconscious mind and my conscious mind so I can identify the vehicle that I'm supposed to use to scale my income to 30K a month, by the end of the year, they came back immediately and told me that I needed to ask myself why. And the same thing about Avalon Care Center. Why? Why is that statement something you want to do? Well, here's why. As far as that 30K a month by the end of this year is... I want to bring Kathleen home early from re for re retirement and get her retired so we can start enjoying things and, and the money can be there and she can feel secure. I want to grow my retirement fund even faster so that she can know that that money is there if I get hit by a, a truck. Anyhow, I, I want to enjoy some new adventures with Kathleen as well that I've been pre-playing movies in my mind about. 
That's why. I have big whys. And the same thing with Avalon, uh, those sweet people. Well, I went back out and went to work and I'm uh, bringing back, I told him to get after it and bring me back some strong support to, and evidence to achieve that goal that will prove that putting on that goal is right and it's real. And as I think about what the one thing I can do tomorrow that will help me feel accomplished and successful there at Avalon and throughout the rest of the day, I thought of my dear friends at Avalon Care Center who be I'll be spending quite some time with tomorrow, and the thought came to me to pre-play movies of me doing things for them as individuals and watch in my mind each one's needs personally on a one-on-one -on -one individual basis and see and make note of what those are and what I can do to make them feel comfort comfortable and comforted and to feel peace. And so my power statement tomorrow I determine is this. I will go to Avalon early tomorrow morning and take a little more time with each resident that I feel imprompted and pressed to sit down and visit with. I will make sure to do things that I can help them feel loved and feel peace and, and from the time that I spend with them and so that they really have a great sense of happiness for their day tomorrow. Well, there you go. Those are the big questions. Those are the big things. And that's the power statement. So I basically recorded what some of the things I got done. And it's quite exciting. This day's been great. And, and so there you go. I'll be back tomorrow night. And until then, I want to think thoughts of gratitude. I want to thank those folks Jody and Croy, who've done what they've done, that has kicked into gear some incredible thoughts and changes in my life. I want to thank the opportunity to have the equipment and the courage to do this video journal and how it's helping me sink deep in my mind those principles of success because the thoughts create exactly the emotions that you're positive or negative, depending on what your thoughts are. I'm trying to think better so my thoughts are positive. And those thoughts create actions that I get after it. And those getting after things in a positive way creates positive results. And so I just want to thank them. I want to thank uh, my sweet wife for all she does for me. And I want to make sure it's recorded because I'm sincere about that. And I wish every one of you, those of you who have started to look and that, I want to wish you success and thank you for your lives. And I hope you have success and, and continuing successful days. So, good night. Bye.